Robert Pierce has a question for us in regards to optimizing tire wear. If all things are equal, suspension is set correctly, hydraulics are correct. Chassis is correct based on gearing and tire circumference. Tire pressure is correct. How do you get better longevity out of the tire? And how do you get grip to last with that tire? So, interesting question, Robert. There's a couple ways of approaching this. One is compound. You can go ahead and buy a harder compound tire than you would ordinarily have, and that is obviously in regards to track or race tires, and you will get much greater longevity out of the tire if the suspension and chassis and pressure are all correct by using a slightly firmer or harder compound tire, which will get you, say, five to eight days if you are not extremely aggressive in your riding style. Increased tire pressure by a couple of PSI can also get you greater longevity of tire wear as well, even though it keeps within the range and the carcass itself heats up. If the tire doesn't get too hot but is working optimally, optimally excuse me, then it won't shed as much rubber or wear down as much rubber as it would if the pressure was a little lower where the contact patch is bigger, more heat is created, therefore the, the tire wears faster. Also, you can use pressure to change the structural rigidity of the tire, especially with a soft carcass tire like a Pirelli, where I would, for example, run 38 hot in the front, so the tire stayed round and could give me better side grip on extremely aggressive trail braking, and 34 hot in the rear, so that under hard acceleration, the sidewall did not deform, therefore I could get steering and grip out of the rear tire when leaving or mid-apex if it was an exit corner and accelerating hard towards the next corner. Bottom line ultimately is it all relates to compound. You can get tires that will last longer that are harder. Another good example is Bridgestone has an Endurance Slick, Pirelli has a Superbike Pro Slick. The Pro Slick I had, let's see, over 500 miles on it before I gave it to somebody else who's since put four track days on it. He's a much, obviously, slower rider in terms of overall lap times and is enjoying the track, not racing the track. So he, it's not unusual, for example, someone get a medium hard set of Dunlop 211s the UK tire to see them getting eight track days out of a set of tires. So again, it comes down to you. How aggressive are you? What pressure are you willing to use? Can you use a slightly harder compound to get better value for money in terms of longevity and grip? Or are you willing to sacrifice a little bit of longevity in order to get grip so that when you ride the bike, there's no fading away of traction, grip, etc. All individual choices, all made based on what we like and want to see for the dollars we invest in what is the most expensive piece of our track day experience, tires. If you have questions, please send them to me via Facebook to Dave Moss Tuning. And thanks very much.